In this video, I'll show you how to enable WooCommerce catalog mode without using a plugin in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so typically when you install WooCommerce and you set up your e-commerce store, your shop page will look something like this, right? So we'll have um, the products, we'll have the price, and then we'll have the call to action to add the cart button, okay? Let's say you wanted to display this as a catalog and you didn't want to display the price or even you didn't want to display the add to cart button, okay? So you didn't want any purchasing functionality on your store. Then I'll show you how to do this without using any particular plugin. So I'll show you how to turn your store from this to this. Here we've removed the price and we're displaying a custom call to action button and you can change this button to whatever you want it can be call us it can be um, email us fill out this form etc etc it's the same thing on a product page as well so if we click to the product page here we can no longer see the price and then we've got this custom call to action button okay okay so throughout this video we'll be using the steps included in this article here so i'll leave a link to this article in the description below so you'll need this link because we'll be enabling woocommerce at catalog mode without any plugin using custom code i should know Note as well that if you don't want to mess with code we've also got this particular article here which shows you how to achieve the same thing if not more um, using a plugin so I'll leave a link on screen as well to that particular video without further ado let's jump straight into it okay so we're going to do a few things throughout this video right so we're going to remove the add to cart button from our product pages and also on the archive pages as well Next, we're going to remove the prices. So we're going to hide the prices again from all pages, right? And finally, let's say, for example, you wanted to display a call to action such as contact us or call us on this number. We'll show you how to achieve that as well. OK, so let's go ahead and start with removing the add to cart button from our pages. OK, so I'm just going to copy this code here. OK, and then we'll head over to our website. Okay, so currently this is how our site looks, right? So you can see the price is showing, the add to cart button showing and so on, okay? So let's navigate over to our dashboard. Okay, with regards to adding the code to your site as well, so you can do this in a few different ways. So you can add it to your themes functions at PHP file. You can add it to a child theme. You can use a code plugin and I'll leave a link in the description to this particular article, which goes through several different ways in how you can um, add code to your site, okay? Um, personally, I recommend just using a code snippet plugin. It's just easier in, in terms of management and maintenance, okay? Let's head back over to our dashboard. And I've already got a code snippet plugin installed, so I'm just gonna navigate to um, this snippet plugin here and just click Add New. So I'm gonna paste in our code that we just copied Okay, so this code here is to remove the add to cart button. For the title, um, give it something meaningful, right? So whenever you view a snippet, you know exactly what it's doing, okay? So I'm just gonna name this one, remove add to cart button for more pages. So now I'm just gonna hit save changes and activate. Okay, so it didn't save. Um, so let's go ahead and save it again. Okay. Um, so I'm not too sure if it's because I've got um, over 8,000 products on this particular store why it's not saving, but it's causing a 500 um, server error, which essentially happens whenever um, the server's under too much pressure, essentially. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the same code and I'm just going to add it to our theme functions, that PHP file. But in your case, you shouldn't have this issue. So let's just navigate to appearance and then theme file editor. I'm going to navigate to our functions.php file. Um, I should mention as well, whenever messing with code or adding any code to your site, it makes sense to back it up before you actually make any changes. Um, so I'm just going to update this. Hopefully it updates fine. Okay, so that's updated fine. So now let's refresh this page and there you can see it's removed all the add to cart buttons from our site. Okay, so now we'll remove the price. Okay, so we'll navigate back over to the article here where it says hide um, prices. So let's copy this code and we will go ahead and paste it in our themes functions at PHP file. Let's update this. Okay, and now let's refresh this page. Okay, and there you have it. So you can leave it here if you wanted, um, but we're just gonna add a custom call to action and then we'll wrap up this video. So let's head back over to this article here and we will go ahead and copy this code here, okay? So now let's paste it in our themes functions.php file. Okay, so a few things to note. Um, here where it says A and then ref, 
in this quotation it's got slash contact okay so this is a url that we will be redirecting customers to when they click on the custom call to action button okay so for example it will be your website so www.toot.whateveryourwebsiteis.com and then it will say slash contact okay so let's say for example your url was callless for example okay um, so instead of entering the full url you'll just um, add the slug okay so it's whatever comes after the dot com or whatever your extension is okay so for example if it was callless we'll just um, change this here to callless make sure you add a slash as well and then here where it says um, button um, we can customize we can customize the call to action here okay so here it says call us for pricing you can change this to whatever you want um, okay and then let's go ahead and update this okay that saved fine so now let's refresh this page and here we've got our custom call to action button okay so that's about it for this particular video as i said in the intro if you don't want to mess with code and if you wanted a more robust um, quoting system for example then i do recommend um, checking out this video that i'll display on screen now and that's a quick and simple way to enable catalog mode on your WooCommerce store without using a plugin. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.